Welcome everybody to another one of our talks here uh, from the International Maritime Museum of Hamburg. Um, today we are going to be speaking about a ship as always, but actually not so much about the ship, but about a model of the ship, a model that is going to be uh, built and that is going to, um, to be, uh, so the way it's going to be built is going to be shown online. And for this, we have uh, two friends of ours uh, um, joining us from the UK. And uh, one of them, you may already know if you have watched these videos before, this is uh, naval architect, Stephen Payne which is here. Um, hi, Stephen. Thanks for- Hi there. <laughs> and we have a, a, a new friend of ours joining us um, back there, uh, down there. Um, this is um, Jason Port. Jason Port is a model maker and a YouTuber. Um, and he has a series called um, uh, uh, model kit stuff that's right yeah that's right model kit stuff i'm going to and and he um uh, show, shows how he builds and and uh, what he does with model kits which uh, um uh, as i know it's a subject that interests quite a lot of our, our followers as we have um a lot of people who have a hobby of building models and um uh, this is an interesting so the model we are going to speak about is uh, uh, not the one in my pack in this uh, green screen uh, um, show, but it's the same ship. So this is this is uh, the model we have at the museum. This is the Queen Mary II, um, made of uh, a little bit over eight hundred thousand pieces of Lego in a scale of one to fifty. Uh, so seven seven meter long ship, uh, a long model. Um, the one we're going to be speaking about is a little bit smaller, and it's uh, a new model of the Queen Mary II. And um, the interesting thing uh, at first is that not only is uh, uh, Jason a model maker, but uh, Stephen, uh, besides building real ships, he's also a model maker. And uh, my first question will be for you, Stephen. Um, when did you start in started building models? Well, I think like most people, I, I started as quite a young age, probably um, eight or nine years old, something like that, the uh, Airfix kits. Mm -hmm. And obviously um, Ravel as well was available. So uh, that's how I started. But, you know, I, I, I was thinking the other day that it, it's been 20 years since... I was building the real Queen Mary too. Mm -hmm. And as everybody knows that follows your channel, I, I have a very strong association with the ship. She's like a daughter to me. Mm -hmm. And it's been two years since I've been able to go on board and, and sail on the ship because of the COVID situation. So I thought, well, what can I do to reconnect with the ship? Both in actual for, for the, the two years since I've been on board and the 20 years since it was built. Frenzy of activity, of course, at the, the French shipyard 20 years ago. And I thought, well, I've got the Ravel model, the Platinum Edition, and I, I've never built it. So I thought, well, perhaps it's time to dust that off and to actually think about building the kit. And I thought, well, it'd be good to see what other people are doing. And so I was looking on YouTube at various model makers. And that's how I met up with Jason. Mm -hmm. So perhaps we should hand over to Jason now for him to uh, follow up uh, on how things develop there. Yeah, or maybe, well, <clears throat> maybe you could, Jason, you, you've been... Um, uh, You've been having a, a YouTube channel for, I, I, I looked, uh, I've seen some of your videos before, but I, I looked today and I saw eight months. Have you been doing right. this for longer or eight months? But you, you already have quite a, a big, uh, um, yeah, uh, quite a lot of followers on YouTube and, and uh, 
so you're you're being quite successful uh, with the uh, with with yeah, that. I, 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 I guess so. I'm, <laughs> uh, you're right. We've only been around for, for eight months. Um, and it's really something that started um, out of the COVID pandemic and trying <laughs> to find something else to do to, to fill my time. Uh, whilst I was working from home and not having to travel to work, I had more time. Um, so it was a way of um, expressing what I'm doing with my hobby because I couldn't go to... Uh, model shows and, and things like that. So it started uh, filling a gap. So we've been doing it for eight months um, and it's really surprised me how popular it's become. I have people that, that come in and regularly comment on pretty much every video we do and others that pop in depending on the topic. But one thing's very clear, the um, ship builds are the ones that are most popular. Uh, people really oh. like the ship. I'm really glad to hear that. And, and actually, uh, uh, what I also wanted to say, just a short thing at this point, is uh, uh, many, um, many model builders, especially uh, um, the one, not, 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 maybe not the younger ones, tend to, to say all the time, the hobby is dying and, and nobody's building models anymore. And, and, and I don't know. I think that, uh, so my, my experience online uh, tells otherwise. That there is, there is a, big interest and, and there are new generations coming. But um, yeah. just coming back to that, how, how do you, so so you were contacted by Stephen uh, directly or how did you get in touch with each other? I, well, uh, Stephen made a comment on um, one of my videos and basically asked a question, um, would they ever consider building an ocean liner? Um, and then in particular, the, the, the Queen Mary II for some reason. Um, and uh, uh, I quickly answered him and I try and answer all, all of the messages as soon as I can and said, yes, actually, I've got the model in my stash of many models to, to be built. Uh, and it's just sat there looking for an excuse to build it. And suddenly that idea popped in my head. We've got Stephen Payne here um, and we've got the model here. And if we join those two together, we can do something that... Um, a lot of modelers try and recreate in their mind when they're building a model. They try and imagine what the designer was thinking. You sort of get in the shoes of the designer while you're building the model or the, the, the person flying the aircraft or the, the captain of the ship or, 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 or whatever. Um, but actually, we can bring that real experience of Stephen to the model uh, and share that with everybody. So very quickly, I saw that we had potential to do something just a little bit different than perhaps has been done before. Mm -hmm. Yes, I, I can. So I, I, I was contacted by, by Stephen uh, uh, five years ago because he visited the museum. So it's actually, uh, I, I kind of uh, can relate to your experience. It's always, of course, uh, um, something, uh, it, it's, it's more interesting than if you just have, well, <clears throat> With, with older uh, um, ships or older uh, um, uh, uh, crafts in general from which you can build a model, um, you can only go to the archives or uh, uh, try yeah. to find a book. Or, and, and as I also said in another video, Stephen is probably the, the, the last person alive who has built an ocean liner. Uh, um, so, so, yeah. so th this this make it this make it quite interesting. And so, um, as I've seen, you are you are about to to start um, recording, or or do you have already recorded uh, some episodes so far? Uh, no, we've um, we've done a little bit of recording. Um, so, I, if I explain a little bit of how we're trying to pull this together, um, it'll perhaps make a little bit more sense. So, so what we're trying to do in the videos is is pull together um, not just building the model kit, but talking about how the real ship goes together. So, for example, in the first um, um, build episode, we'll be building the engine pods. Uh, and you'll have me building the engine pod and then you'll have Stephen talking about why we've got engine pods rather than normal shaft lines. Um, so there's there's a little bit of history. There's some design understanding. And then what we will do in the in the build is try and take Stephen's knowledge to 
make that model a little bit more accurate. So like you rightly say, you scrabble around normally for lots of reference material and then try and make sure you've got the right material for the right refit version of the ship and so on and so forth. I, I just dropped Stephen an email and say, is this right? And, and, and we know. So um, it's a great experience for me. It's an opportunity to get a, a ship historically very accurate, which is nice. I'm going to I'm, I'm, uh, made an educated guess and, guess and say it's it's going to be very interesting, not only for you, but for, for, for uh, everybody's watching. So um, I have a, um, I have a, a, a question about the, about the model. Uh, um, so it's, it, this go, this goes against to, to Stephen, but but um, is it an accurate model, Stephen? Because you know the ship a little bit. <laughs> well, I, I worked with Revel um, okay. when the ship was nearing completion, and I arranged for them to be given some of the plans. And you you've got to think that. Um, it's over 20 years now mm. since the kit was first produced. And so technology's changed. They can now do uh, molding techniques that are um, far more advanced than they could when the Queen Mary II model was built. So what, what's going to be really great is that um, Jason enjoys doing some scratch building. So we're going to take the basic kit we are going to correct a few of the things that um, slipped through um, during the planning of the kit um, in 2003. Some areas of wood deck that perhaps are not wood deck and, and things like that. So we'll be correcting that. But the scale of the ship model, one to 400, means it's not too small. So it will allow us to add a lot of extra detail. So things like fireboxes all around the outside decks, although they're small because they're painted bright red, they're visible and they're going to add a lot of interest to the outside deck areas. And where the lifeboats are as well, the walkways where the lifeboats are, are launched, there are some blue control boxes on the promenade deck, there are wooden boxes that hold the life jackets and the cushions of the deck chairs. So we're going to go through the whole of the exterior of the ship, adding detail where, where, where it's sensible to do so. You know, um, I'm a lot older than Jason, but we're, we're both um, not youngsters. So we've got to think about what we can do with our eyesight things like that <laughs> so within reason we're going to um, try and, and make these one to 400 revel kits that the best and i'm i'm building my kit as well in parallel but it will be jason's kit that's um used for the the videos maybe um we'll exchange some photographs and that and I, jason can can show my one and I, i'll show my one of course on my Instagram channel on that but uh, with the anecdotes and stories you know and it gives me a chance as well to explain why the ship is the way it is because often when I go on the ship passengers say to me why have you put that room back there and why is this here and um, you should have done it better and things like that and of course there, there's <laughs> a lot of hidden <laughs> explanation there's a lot of course the passengers don't see so the stores areas have to connect with the galleys and, and things like that so all those things so we'll be bringing all that in and I hope it will give people a, a real appreciation for the ship and also through Jason's um, fine work be able to show people how, how to make a really good job of building that rebel model it it sounds really interesting. I'm, I'm uh, um, actually looking forward to, to see the processes of, uh, uh, of creating the, the extra scratch build parts. And, um, and I have an, an, another question that, that uh, uh, popped uh, uh, up today uh, when I was thinking about this interview. Uh, actually, um, it's a question that I have, it regards also this model here. 
uh, back there. It actually shows the Queen Mary II as she was uh, in, in Blomenfoss uh, in the year 2008, while the museum was opening. She was there uh, just at the same time as we opened the museum. So, um, so it shows the, the, the old configuration uh, of, the, uh, of the upper deck of the ship. And um, uh, the, I had a, a person once uh, in the exhibition uh, telling me uh, um, we should change the model because the ship has changed. And well, I politely explained that it shows the ship in that configuration. But what, what about the, uh, the um, uh, Revelle model? Does it show the, 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 the original Queen Mary II or does it sh show the change to one? Well, it, it's, it's the as-built ship mm -hmm. as she left the French shipyard San Jose. So it doesn't include the top deck that they've added since mm -hmm. and various um, awnings at the back of the ship where the bar is and things like that. So that's not on the ship. But um, once we, we've built this one, if anybody wants to go further and do something, then... Uh, I, I don't have the plans of that. I only have the, the brochure plans, but from photographs and that, um, it shouldn't be too difficult to add the uh, the extra deck on top. All right, but I, I, uh, as far as I know, you you do prefer the original configuration. May well, I? it's not for me to say, but uh, <laughs> from, from a from an economic point of view, that the company prefers the extra cabins and that, but. Uh, Obviously, um, it's not the way she was designed and built originally. That, that, that's the diplomatic answer. Okay, okay. Well, believe me, especially working in a, in a cultural institution, uh, uh, the, the, the current uh, COVID crisis has uh, shown us all uh, that uh, economy is... Uh, so you, you shouldn't be... Uh, um, you should always think a little bit about money if you want to... to um, so well, absolutely. And, and the important thing with all these passenger ships is the passenger ships are not built for the passengers. They're built for the companies to make a return on their investment. So mm -hmm. it, it, it's a business after all. And, that, and that's the important thing. And right from the very beginning, where, when I first said to my bosses, I wanted to build a real liner, and not a cruise ship that looked like a liner. They said to me, well, you can only do it if you can prove to us you're going to make that return on investment. Can you design it in such a way that the revenue is going to be sufficient to, to warrant us spending a um, billion dollars? Okay, yeah, well, that kind of makes sense uh, from yeah. the investor side, of course. Um, Jason, so so this is something new for you, the... the um, uh, the process, uh, this 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 videos together with Stephen. But how how do you um, how do you face <clears throat> generally the the process of making of making the videos that you that you are making? So what are your preparations and 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 thoughts before you do a video? So um, normally before I start a build, there's there's quite um, a lot of work to actually go through the instructions and understand what you're going to build, the sequence you're going to build it in, what you want to change. Um, in this case, things are slightly different because Stephen has, uh, knows the kit quite well um, and he's already got a view of that. So um, we're going to build this particular kit in the build sequence that is recommended by Ravel. Um, and um, that allows us then to work together and both be um, on the same page, um, quite literally, and, and follow the process. Um, if we did it, if we did it the way I normally work, then it would be much more difficult for Stephen to follow where we are. So um, at this moment in time, we've done a lot of planning. So we've been swapping notes and ideas on um, what needs to be done in the first stages, which is putting the hull together and the first decks. Um, what we need to add, what paint colours we want to use. Um, how we're going to go about the scratch building, whether it's possible or not. So there's been a, a lot of conversation. We've had some team meetings where we've talked about various elements. It's given me an opportunity to 
ask a lot of questions uh, and understand it. So uh, we're doing it stage by stage. Um, so we've pretty much signed off now what we think we need to do on the hull and the first set of decks. Um, and then it gets a little bit more complicated and in-depth where we've got deck furniture, swimming pools, and um, th there's lots and lots of um, uh, additional things that we want to put in. I mean, even things like how do we put the uh, tennis courts nets on, for example, which aren't included in, in, in the kit in the way that they are on the ship. So it's making those changes and thinking about how we do things. So the, the process is the same, having two people um, in some ways makes it a little bit more complicated, but at the same time means that we're getting it absolutely right. And I'm not missing something as a modeler because Stephen pretty much um, knows what he's talking about, I think. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I must admit, after 20 years, some, some things, the memory begins to fade a bit. But uh... I'm, I'm really really looking forward to see uh, to see the completed model or models so so uh, um, uh, uh, it's going to be very interesting also to compare both of them um, and uh, well who knows maybe uh, maybe one of the models uh, um, uh, could so I'm going to to, to drop uh, an idea um, as I as I explained before before we started recording, um uh next next year we are finally going to be able to do at the museum uh, the second uh, um international uh ship modeling days in hamburg we organized this in 2008 and uh it, it, sorry 18 2018 and it was a, an amazing experience and it, the next one should have been in 2020 but well uh, you know um so um so we are really really hoping that uh, um it's going to be in the fall of uh, of two, it's going to be taking place in the fall of 2022 so if, uh, if you want to come to hamburg if, if everything's gotten better which i hope by then will be the case and maybe um maybe you want to bring uh, um to bring the model uh we will make sure uh, that it gets a, a place which is prominent enough uh to be shown so um well, I... that gives me a deadline which is nice oh yeah yeah well <laughs> well it's it, it's a little bit over a year i i don't i don't know how how in depth you want to 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 be building uh, the model uh, because it's like building a model, it really depends on, on, on what you want to do. It can take 10 years or it can take uh, two months. So, but, so you, you think it's going to be done by, by, um, by the autumn of, so in, in one year time, approximately? I, I, I would like to think that we, we've got it done. It all, de all depends on how much um, additional detail Stephen keeps coming up with. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, um, anyway, uh, uh, of course, the invitation stands with or without the model. So, uh, uh, well, Stephen has already visited us a couple of times, uh, and and Jason, of course, uh, if you uh, are ever uh, in the area, uh, come see the museum. I'm going to. I guess you you're going to enjoy it, and. Um, and as I guess I'm going to be enjoying watching the videos, it starts, uh, it's going to start in September. Uh, yeah, right. the, the introduction to the build comes out on the 31st of August. 31st of August already. Oh, I don't know if this video is going to be done by then. Uh, that's going, fine. I'm going to try, but uh, but by, by any means, I'm going to be watching and... Um, and I hope uh, so. If you and Jason, if you if you ever so we we try or we have had like, had like a break for for different reasons, but we try to to make this kind of conversations about different ships, and and if you uh, so if there is ever a, um, a subject that is more uh, uh, modeling related and you want to join us for the conversation, you are always also welcome uh, uh, to do a, a chat like we did today. And My pleasure. And I would like to, to thank you uh, today again for uh, joining us. And um, 
and wish you luck with the videos and with the models. Happy modeling to you both. Thank and, you very much. Uh, and thank, thank you, everybody who's watching for watching today. Um, check the other videos we have over about several ships and uh, feel free to follow uh, our daily updates on Facebook and Instagram. Uh, in the Maritime Museum, all the accounts uh, will be listed uh, um, in the description. And uh, yes, yeah, so um, cheers, people, and see you again soon. Bye.